hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to form basic chords in first position. So I'm going to exclude bar chords because they are a little bit tricky to form if you're inexperienced. So the chords I'll be showing you today are A, C, D, E, and G. So let's start with A. Now there are a couple ways to play A, and the way I'm going to show you is not how you're going to see me play it when I'm playing songs. I play A with a bar across the fir uh, or across the three strings that it requires. However, in the beginning, it is easier to use three different fingers. So we're going to place the ring finger onto the second fret of the second string. Okay. Now you're going to place your middle finger one string over. Right? It's a little tight on the third string, also on the second fret. Finally, you're going to place your index finger on the fourth string, same fret. Uh, you can move the fingers around, like you could do something like this, switch your uh, index and middle, but you need to make sure that it's these three strings and not another string. So let's talk about why we learn chords on guitar, and there's a few reasons. So mainly so that we can play the chord, but also making melodies easier by not having to move your fingers around as much. So let's move on to the chord that I just played. C. So we're going to place the index finger on the first fret of the second string, okay? Then your middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the fourth string. So keep in mind, you are skipping a string, or right? you're skipping the third string on this chord. Then you're going to put the ring finger onto the third fret of the fifth string, like so. And there's your C chord. Next up, we've got the D chord, and this one is fairly simple. So we're going to place the middle finger on the second fret of the first string here. And then the ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the second string. And finally, we're going to place the index finger on the second fret, third string. So this is your D chord. But for this one, I want you to strum just the first four strings. Because the open fourth string is the note D, giving the chord its name. Now you can get away with leaving the other strings open on the other chords. However, D will sound kind of strange if you don't limit the strings that you're playing. Next up, this one is fairly straightforward for the E chord. We're going to place the index finger on the first fret of the third string, then the ring finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then finally the middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Now, this may feel a bit weird, so if you want to play around with you know where the fingers go, if you want to swap some fingers around, that's fine. But just make sure the notes don't change, or the chord will become a minor, so that's E minor without the first frame, uh, first finger, or an E7, or another variation, and I'll talk about those in a future video. All right, last chord that we're gonna learn today is the G chord. Now, G is a little bit of a stretch for beginners, but I believe that you can do it. So, ring finger is gonna go on the third fret of the first string, all right? Now, here comes the stretch. Index finger is gonna go on the second fret of the fifth string, and then the middle finger is just gonna sit down right there, third fret of the sixth string. All right, now I'm gonna talk a little bit. So something that I want you to practice is moving in between these chords. So here's a progression that you can do to get a little more comfortable moving around. So A, C, D, E, and G, just the chords we learned today. You can also look on Ultimate Guitar if you have it. If you don't, I highly recommend it. You don't have to pay any money. You can, you can get premium, but um, if you scroll down when you pick a song, you can usually find easier versions with these major chords. So if you know anything about music, you probably notice that we're missing a few notes on the musical alphabet, that is B and F. Now B and F are both bar chords, meaning that you have to stretch your index finger across the neck of the guitar in addition to fingering notes. Uh, we will go over bar chords in the future and I'll show you shortened ways to play them. I also mentioned chord variations earlier. Uh, there are so many different chord variations, major, which is what we did today, minor seven and more you can also play chords as power chords so here's a as a power chord thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and learned something check out the description for useful resources and links there's not always you know there's not gonna be much today but uh, take a look down there after you watch these have a good one happy strumming